Welcome to the Lemo Anywhere driver payroll video. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up your driver payroll. First thing you want to do is go to My Office, Company Resources, and Drivers. Edit the driver that you are going to add payroll to. Now, there is two types of payroll within Lemo Anywhere. There is Trip Hourly, which is this section here under the Edit Driver tab. You will only use this if you're strictly paying hourly, no other costs. The other type of payroll is the pay schedule. That's under the payroll setup tab. This is what we recommend using within Limo Anywhere. And inside a pay schedule, you can pay per hour, per fixed trip, and or a percentage of the rates. So if you are giving gratuities, to your drivers and also paying them hourly, you can do that here as well. You can mix and match how you want it. We will go over pay schedule payroll here in just a little bit. First is the hourly payroll. So you set that up here. You have trip hourly, travel time hourly, and passenger time hourly. Trip hourly is pickup to drop off. Travel time is garage out to pick up and then drop off to garage in. And passenger time is customer and car to drop off. So if you do have different rates hourly for those things, you can add those in here, all three of them. So you'll put in your regular hourly time, overtime, and double time. Once you have that set up, just make sure you update. And that's pretty much setting up the hourly rates. You do want to go to company settings, company preferences, settle receivables payables, and you calculate driver hourly pay based on logged trip times and update that as well. So if you are strictly paying hourly, you would do the log trip times and then under reports, you have the driver payroll report you want to calculate the hourly pay and generate that report with a date range for all drivers or just one driver. Now, if you are setting up pay schedules, do that under the driver and the payroll setup tab here. So pay schedule payroll is based on vehicle type. So you can create a pay schedule per vehicle type and that will automatically apply to the trip based on the vehicle type. You'll put in the pay schedule name, select the vehicle type. Now note, it is important that you only create one pay schedule per vehicle type. If you have multiple pay schedules for one vehicle type, you will have to manually select those in the settle screen. If you want it to auto populate, you need to have one pay schedule per vehicle type. So you put in the pay schedule name, I will put in the vehicle type sedan, select my sedan, and let's say I pay $10 an hour plus 100% of the gratuities. Just type that in there, set it up like that, click save, and it'll appear under here. If you do need to edit or delete a pay schedule, you just click on it, it'll automatically populate over here and you can edit as you wish or delete it. So you can start adding in pay schedules uh, per vehicle type and they can be different or the same. You just want to make sure you do it for each vehicle type that you have. Once you have them set up for a driver, you can go into the other drivers that you have. If they're paid the same, you can copy from another profile, select the driver you've already set up, click display, and then you can check mark all or just check mark the ones that you want to copy and click copy selected rates. And it will copy those over for that driver as well. So it saves a little bit of time if you've got a bunch of drivers that you're wanting to um, create payroll schedules for.
You only have to set up one and copy to the others if they all get paid the same. Also, one thing to note is if you are doing pay schedules, make sure that you set up your system rate manager exactly how you want it before you set up the pay schedules. Because this could be based on uh, percentages of rates that you charge the customer. So if you add any new rates to System Rate Manager or edit existing rates, uh, you will have to come in here and delete the pay schedules and recreate them. You'll also want to make sure that you go into Company Settings here, Company Preferences, uh, Settle Receivables Payables, and select what you want to auto-populate. Do you pay on trip duration or do you pay on garage out to garage in time? So you will select which one you want. And then if you are using pay schedule, use trip payroll data and update as well. Now, once you've got pay schedule set up for all your drivers under the settlement screen, first driver payroll or second driver payroll, it will appear here so you can double check when settling um, to make sure it's correct now if you do have a pay schedule that's for multiple vehicle types remember I said if it's one pay schedule per vehicle type it'll automatically apply that pay rate based on the vehicle type on the trip but if you do have multiple payroll schedules for one vehicle type you will have to manually select that pay rate under here so if I have my driver selected, it will list the pay rates for me to select. And you'll see it adds that $10 an hour plus 100% of the gratuities. Also note that driver payroll is not retroactive. So once you create driver payroll, it will apply to any trips going forward not any trips that have already been created. So once you've made sure that payroll is correct, you'll want to settle the trip so you can create a driver payroll log. I'll go ahead and just settle this trip out. Once settled, it appears on the payable screen for you to create the driver payroll log. And click primary or secondary depending on uh, what kind of log you're wanting to create so i'm going to click on primary you'll select which trips to add to the payroll log add selected trips and continue put in the pay period for this trip you can give it a report name if you like it's totally optional and click Save Driver Payroll Data. So this will list it out, uh, what they got for gratuity, what they got hourly, and the total. From here, you can delete it if you need to uh, edit uh, the trips on here, ed you know, add any new trips uh, to it. If you made a mistake and need to remove trips, you have to delete the whole thing and then recreate it how you want. You can export it into Excel. You can print the pay log. You can print a detailed payroll report and then you can email that to the driver as well. Under driver payroll logs, it's gonna list all the logs that you've created. So you can search in here if you need to. Uh, pay period from to driver name generated between dates and search that way as well if you just click select on it it's going to open that payroll log back for you that concludes driver payroll thank you very much